Okay, uh, a few days later, I have got the um, rebuilt rebuilt carburetor. Um, well, what this is, what so okay, so what this carburetor is was a rebuild that was done probably a couple of decades ago and basically was just sitting on someone's shelf as a spare for their i think it was they said i had a 48 sudabaker so it looks like it has never been run or on a car or anything like i mean it, it was painted um but painted when it was apart because it's not all over the screws it looks really nice and especially where it counts like my throttle body on the other one was just all rusted and pitted and really just didn't move too nicely at all so this one everything looks like it's going to be just great um the only thing i noticed was you can't see it from here but he had the choke set to be pretty eh, i don't know maybe not too bad i guess because it's a little bit cooler today it opens up a little bit easier actually that wouldn't it would be the opposite wouldn't it i don't know we're gonna leave it the way it is i haven't adjusted anything on this carburetor we're just gonna put it on and hope that it is set up enough to run uh there is a new water pump okay so this was about 200 dollars shipped that was about half the price of what i had found earlier there's like a company somewhere that sells on ebay and they were like 395 so like 400 dollars. so this is half the price of that um new water pump that was 120 the fitting that comes out of the top was a different size, so I had to order this little guy off of Amazon. That is um, a half inch NPT, so national, half inch national pipe thread that goes down into the water pump into a, a standard 5 8 heater hose that they were readily available on Amazon, like $10. So that's in. Um, radiator, everything's back on, belts back on. I have removed the spark plugs and I've disconnected the, the main coil wire on the other side because I want to um, just spin the engine over freely to try to see if the fuel pump is actually working and pump up through this hose right here just so I can see that we're drawing from the tank because that's the other thing that I did. There is a um, 5 16 fuel line metal fuel line all the way back to the tank um i forget what size fitting this actually was but i just got a couple fittings 25 feet of tubing it is not the prettiest job in the world um these cars do have oh great that's already leaking <laughs> i may have to tighten it up a little bit more um but i did prime this last night uh I'm just gonna ignore that for right now. It runs back to the back. I cleaned the tank out as best I could. I don't know if we can get in there, but you can see the line right there going into the tank. There's probably about a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons that I poured in the tank. And I was able to prime that in a very OSHA friendly way. And I got fuel all the way up here. So I wanna see if it goes into the pump and then pumps out of here if it does that then we'll connect it back to the carburetor and try to fill the bowl up before i put the spark plugs back in so then theoretically theoretically it should just fire right up and run like it just rolled off the showroom right <laughs> yeah right all right let's see if we can get some fuel pumping out of there Shouldn't have any, there's no, not gonna be any spark or anything, so it shouldn't, it's definitely not gonna try to run or anything. Nothing at all. I guess it might be better if it was actually running and, and spinning it over faster. Well, we're gonna just go ahead and film this for now barn across the street's on fire and fire department is uh right there oh, there's actually a guy over there sitting next to it i guess somebody called called it in fireman i have no idea if they 
did that on purpose or not. They've been over there trying to tear that down. But. There's a siren. Yeah. They've been over there hacking away at it, you know. I, I don't think they meant to set it on fire, though. I see the old guy sitting over there on that yellow tub thing. Oh, yeah, she's going now. I'm gonna need some battery backup. got all the firemen rolling in. I just realized that there's no way they would have done that on purpose because there's all those trees around it. I've never had this much of a front row seat to a fire before. I think it's far enough away that we don't really have to worry about it coming over here. They pretty much have it under control. I think they're spraying more stuff in, but I think it's taken care of. Okay, I think it's recording now. All right, uh, I've got what's probably way too tight of a return spring, a throttle return spring on there, but at least it will keep it at low idle. There is fuel in the bowl. Um, the squirter works really good now. I mean, it should, it's a rebuilt carburetor, but that gives me hope that it should work. Uh, I've probably hit it more times than it needed just from sitting here. So, uh, oh, I think they put the spark plugs back in. All right. <laughs> All right, spark plugs back in, coal wires back up. Let's see what we get. gas in the tank I didn't really put much in but that's about the only thing I can really think of is to try to just put like another five gallons in the tank and see if that helps you can talk too it's fine oh my god okay all right so uh didn't get it on film but it did drive to this position the other day um yeah gunshot uh so I'm gonna just move it from here over to in front of uh, the garage door. But other than me having to like, you know, put the battery back in and, you know, do the usual jump starting, it should start up and, you know, not need any fancy stuff. Now that I've said that, of course, <laughs> I've just jinxed it. Here's but, hoping. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna give it three pumps of Yes, because you know. And one more for good measure. <clears throat> and let me just make sure that it is in park. I mean, it kind of has oh. to be because it's not rolling. My screen went dark. Is it okay? It's still no, going. It, it turns off. Okay. Uh, let's see here. 
All right, so this is the key. This is the ignition switch, mm -hmm. as we all know. Look at that. Almost like it's a normal car. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll, we'll let it sit here and uh, warm up for a couple seconds. Keep it back up a little bit. the way it goes. brakes on it too the front brake lines and cylinder cylinders but I had a little bit more of a pedal the other day now I have like it just goes all the way to the floor mm. uh, I guess we're not moving it but all right whatever we'll, we'll try it again sometime. Ah! It's okay he started to fall out and I grabbed him he started to like fall out and I had to grab him. push our luck. Yeah. But hey, I mean, it's moving. Yeah. It's more than it's done in the last 50 years. All right, well, you know. I don't, well, I wasn't paying attention. I don't believe so, no. Well, there's no floor. I'm sure there's no brake lights. <laughs> no, I mean, you're, you're probably right. No, nothing. No. Uh, yeah, so 
so she's just, you know, sort of running. I guess I could try to adjust the idle now that it's, you know. You see the choke is open, warmed up. I don't know if that's the air fuel mixture causing that. Uh, load the idle. But basically, let me turn, let me just turn it off right now. So basically, um, what I did was, that's actually the original fuel pump back on there. What I realized was that the fuel pump was not all the way seated against the block. <coughs> this car has, you know, a ton of room to work on everything, but where they mount the fuel pump, it's right next to the motor mount, and that one bolt's kind of hard to get to, and this actually was, this little uh, frame here was actually hitting this, at least on this newer one, because um, that's actually the new bowl, a new, um, whatever that little holder inner thing is. So it was not sitting all the way down, so the cam wasn't actually engaging the, the pump lever. Um, so that's all that was. So it is now pumping fuel. Um, actually, it doesn't look too bad in there right now. It definitely was some varnishy looking stuff coming up that may have cleared itself out at this point. I don't know. Because I did clean the tank out pretty good. Um, that's getting warm. Um, yeah, so basically that was the issue. I just made a new line to um, make it easier to attach the outlet from the fuel pump to the carburetor right there. And uh, that was pretty much what it took. So I guess I'll see if I can get the, the idle dialed in a little bit. I'm not really planning on doing a whole lot with it tonight. I just want to kind of move it back over here where I can work and I gotta clean all this mess up. This is just like two months worth of mess. That may be a project soon. It's a Honda Spree. Uh, it does not run, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have it. I guess you can let me know if you want to see that. But uh, yeah, so for tonight, that's the that's the win for tonight. We moved it, it has a little bit of brakes, has forward and backwards. So I'm happy. It's just a continual progression. Like there's not, hasn't been too many backward steps, if you will. Everything seems like it continually gets a little bit better every time that I mess with it. So I'm always happy about that. All right, guys.